the three Merlini couch. Three Merlini's pog chat. All right. Uh, before we get into the game, those of you on the road who may not be able to check out the live stream, you can follow all the great Dota 2 action going on here on the Score Esports app. Check out all the interviews that people have been doing. Daryl, what are you shaking your head, head at me for? What? What? Nothing what? solid, nothing. Okay. <laughs> nothing <laughs> solid, nothing? Okay. Um, yeah, so you can follow all the action on the, the Score Esports app. You can get it on the <laughs> Google Play Store or the iOS app. But guys, game four coming up. EG, they're back. They took a game, you know, they didn't get a lower bracket, but what they did do instead was give uh, VP a 2-0 lead. So I guess that's the equivalent of a lower bracket. Yeah. Who's f is uh, EG Radiant again? Uh, looks like it. Did VP pick uh, first pick? My eyesight's bad, I can't read that chat. Yeah, I, can't s I don't think they, they didn't say They yet. haven't picked it yet. They haven't picked it yet. I'll be surprised if EG is Radiant, because VPs tend to pick because of the um, loser picks, right? And VP has been winning a lot on Radiant. Granted, they just just want they just want two t two games on Dire, but I think they're gonna pick Radiant on VP. Okay, so you think they take Radiant over a first pick? Mm, yes, I think they will. All right, Ben, what are your thoughts? Like VP coming all the way from the low bracket, are you surprised that they've made it this far, taking two games off EG? I'm surprised that they two zeroed so many people so quickly. Like when when I watched the first series. <laughs> <laughs> when I watched the first series, I was like, "Oh, that's kind of more what I was expecting." Teams to put up pretty, good, pretty good. Yeah. But after that, it was just steamroll. Yeah. What happened? Russians. <laughs> pretty much, man. Russians Unpredictable. Happened. I mean, you guys always lose to Russians. Sometimes we just, go, I just go on ten on offlane. Yep. Just happens. The chat spams Boon Mirror, <laughs> makes fun of me. <laughs> I, I just feed uncontrollably. <laughs> it happens. It happened in the mages too. I was like seven devs on Tusk by minute like ten or something. Yeah. Versus versus VP. Okay. Same but same, same thing. Hey man, who you guys had the last laugh, so it's all okay. Yeah. Wait, how, <laughs> how do you know they were spamming you? Spamming? I I know the I know the chat. Oh. You, you tap out in the game. This guy <laughs> is the biggest fiend. Yeah, I'm a pretty big. Fiend. He watches so the he, replays and the Twitch chat. So he gets mm -hmm. he's, he he watches the replays with, yeah with the Twitch chat alongside. Yeah. Have you did you do that? Yeah, but at the same it's, time it's good fun. Like, it's Good fun, and you watch your own replays, yeah. and you learn. Yeah, because us, us casters yeah. know what we're talking about. Yeah. Do, you, do you learn from us casters? Yeah. No, I mean, like, yeah, you d I do sometimes. You know, okay. you kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I learned from a caster that was like a spell called Black Hole. He just screams Black Hole for like half an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. And you didn't know what that spell Black Hole did before that. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite caster to learn from is Lumi. Very informative, yeah. very updated, a lot of insight. He's great a good stuff. caster. He's a good, great caster. The best of the best. The best of the best. Lumi like Merlini? Lumi like Merlini. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're even wearing like the same hoodie. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 it's it's a, it's a guy again that it's always a guy. Yeah, guy? I know. Who, is by Leo. who is that broadcaster? It has to be stats by Leo. No, it's it's uh the Whom Outcaster, I think. It's always the perfect world oh, caster. Freaking Chinese casters. Yeah, Chinese casters, man. They're the worst. Yeah. I hate them. Who are the good Chinese casters? Uh, are there any good ones? I don't know, something. Something is pretty good. Something? Yeah. Mm, Something. Is the Chinese LD good? Lao Deng? Lao Deng? Nah. Chinese LD? No? Nah. Alright, same like, as the like English uh, LD. Yeah, MS is pretty good. Okay. She seems good. Yeah. Seems okay. good. Do you prefer to listen to cast in Chinese or English? Me? Both at the same time. Mm. What? How can you even listen to that? Uh, I'm pretty sure you do good. Like, not, not gods, though. Not gods? Yeah. Yeah, ben Wu. yeah we are Malinis. Yeah, yeah we are all Malinis. <laughs> <laughs> what about Luminous? Luminous? Lumimilini? Luminem? Lumimilini? <laughs> Lumerlini? <laughs> ah, it's a homo guy. I hit that guy. Every single time, man. No, 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 yeah. it's stats by Leo. Stats by Leo. Okay. I know it. We will see <laughs> when it loads it. But yeah, it's like 7 a.m. there, so I'm quite surprised that they're awake. It's summer finals, man. Who wouldn't be awake for summer yeah, finals? Why would they cast at 7 a.m.? Who the hell is awake? Would your, f would your girlfriend stay up and watch you play if you were in the summer finals right now? Nah, she went to sleep when the game started. Okay. Yeah, I just told her, like, oh, I lost again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Yeah, just Feels bad, bad man, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So Wait, your girlfriend? No, I thought she was your wife, your fiancé. 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 Yeah, fiancé, wife, girlfriend. Oh, it's congratulations, it's by the way. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations. Again. We'll Again. celebrate. <laughs> we, are, we already are celebrating, so... Yeah, I already am. Yeah. Wait, nah, nothing. Can you guys imagine that, guys? If a person like Daryl Isis Cole can get a fiancé, there's hope for all you guys out there. He's charming. 
That's a that's a motivational speech. That's a moon yeah. speech right there in the making. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. Just zoom in this on his face, guys. Zoom on his face. The cameras are there. I mean, you can go. The, mess with the, the guy has the a camera. fiance. Where's the camera? Look how look at that that troll right there. I, I can't look at a camera and look at my face at the same time. You can let the viewers like just walk up to that camera right there. <laughs> Andre Spanish. It was you. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> Spanish. 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 Yesterday, Andre got so mad he just kicked all the casters, apart from like English and Russian. Oh yeah, yeah, someone did that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was that's Andre. Andre. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Andre came in yelling, he's like, "I'm sick of these fucking remote casters not loading. Like, can I just kick them all?" I'm like, eh, "Kick, kick everyone except the Russian and the Chinese." I mean, we get the Chinese give us their dirty Chinese laundering money. The Russians, they're here, so I don't want to piss off the lat. So yeah, as long as as long as they're in the game. Russian mafia. Is it Statsman Leo again? Uh it's the one guy again. Uh, I don't know who it is, honestly. We just want game four. Spanish guy or Homa guy? Nah, doesn't matter at this point. All right, kick them all. Kick them all. Kick them all. Kick the players. No, this is actually so like, you know, when you load into the game, you're ready to play. You're like, yeah, let's go yeah. to the draft. And then this shit happens. Then you lose your whole momentum as a yeah, player. That's true. You know, and then you're like, oh, you're so annoyed, and you're like triggered, and you trick before the game even starts, and you're angry. It before there was in, load in without them. There was no timer on band picks. So it would take like 50 minutes for band pick long time ago that yeah. you had no momentum at all oh yeah yeah, yeah. you just oh. like type the yeah, you them type it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. in the game like oh uh, <laughs> I wanna pick Skaden King that was when it was like actually <laughs> yeah. like Radiant versus Dire Heroes like if you're Radiant yeah. you could only pick Radiant Heroes no that was ancient times man yeah. minus BM <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah minus B that was Walker Walker yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. then you get a team wipe and you pause the game uh, save game <laughs> <laughs> save game <laughs> oh yeah game. yeah yeah I actually played during those days every two minutes like every kill like save game especially when you're playing certain teams who you know Save game. <laughs> there were some teams who were like you had to do it against as well because like they were a bit sketchy, so yeah. you never trust them. Any team with like PGG or <laughs> whatever. PGG. <I> don't know. <laughs> Dude, those teams were just like DC notoriously, like the most weird times. I don't know. But how's your summit been, Daryl? Pretty good. Your third summit. Yeah. My fourth, fourth summit. Yeah. Just kidding. Second, first, third, yeah. third. Top three every time, man. Yep, thanks bad. to you. Thanks to me, what did I do? Break the brackets? You know what you did. I feel like there's some hey conspiracy going on here. No wonder we had to play VG Gaming. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kappa Pride. Oh, the game started, guys. Oh, we're in the oh. draft. <laughs> EG versus Furnace Pro. Fight. So You're VP of first pick. Oh. First pick and Dyer. What? What? Hey, the cookie. It's a German chocolate cookie. Ooh. Yeah. Evil you guys talked about them taking back. Radiant, but... Oh, look, look, they're mad. They're drafting like real quick. I mean, they had, like, a long time to think about it. They picked first pick. Shadow Priest and Gyrocopter. Again? Good lord. Shadow Priest and Gyrocopter, you're right. Yep, and then Doxia. Oh! Um, nope, it was AA Ming. Whoa, they banned the bounty now. It's like so Even fast, like it's just some Dota, man. Yeah, they're both angry. <laughs> or this is six <laughs> now what? Ban Visage, ban no, 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 Disruptor. They're, they're not gonna ban Visage, they're gonna ban VS and Disruptor again. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. not scared of Visage they're when not they scared have of Gyro. You have, have Gyrocopter. Yeah. yeah. Like I said earlier in the earlier cast, yeah. like, no matter how good someone is at a hero, it's still four skills. It's still countered by Gyrocopter. Ban yeah. Raptor. So. Evil geniuses turn to bad. I think I could have picked up Shaker again. Like, same shit. For EG. Wait, no. Improved Mata is gonna give. Something they did a lot early in the trim was pick the like Queen of Pain against SF when they had the Shaker too. Yeah, they might pick Brumata like on a fourth pick. Seconds. For EG or VP? For EG. That's a good pick now. Five seconds remaining. Uh, VP is just gonna pick the Sage so? again. Time. I think EG is gonna fourth pick Brumata after VP picks Visage. Yeah. Because this is AA Visage versus Brumata. You're like, what do I do, guys? I'm versus the Spider. Well, EG thinking through their last. This is the first time we've had like a pause in the draft. Everything until now is pretty much scripted. Would they want to ban Vengeful if they're gonna pick Boomerder? Mm, not yeah, really. No, right. I don't not think really. so. Isn't it terrible versus Brute? That lane just sounds awful. Yeah. PSAA and Visage. What if they ban. The draw is so bad versus Brute. Yeah, I mean, Visage is bad against Brute as well. I mean, they could ban a DK for both zero, ban more catch. They have a free banner here, theoretically. That Peter's thinking about it. Like, what the ban, guys? Doxia? 
Yeah, they, sh they, sh they should. Oh, bend they should up. definitely yeah, bend Daxu. Right. Yeah, they should bend Daxu. Or they take the Daxu if they don't want. If oh. they don't want to go into, Ooh. okay, they take the bend themselves. Pros oh. They're like swapping picks now. Yeah. Evil geniuses. That's some great Dota. Dota I, I don't think I'm gonna pick a brute now. Come, FNG is picking so fast. Like he doesn't care or something. Oh well, they stole everything. Virtus pros turn to pick. So universe darkseer. If you're gonna go out, you're gonna go out with the universe darkseer then. <laughs> I mean, they have dazzle gyrocopter. There's no more like darkseer counter. There's no disruptor. There's no bane. Nothing kills darkseer at this point. Darkseer's just gonna like run around and like Ming Lee. Nothing can kill him. <laughs> Skyjack King. Ten seconds. Remaining. Skeleton King? Yeah, pick the Skeleton King. Even Skeleton King can't kill Darks here. Ah, it's for the remaining. Gyro. Yeah, screw the What about Doom? Is that just gonna be. Yeah. Isn't that okay versus Darks here? Yeah, it's pretty scary versus Darks here. Is that something you just wanna ignore at this point? Oh man, actually they can pick Doom here. Doom SF yeah. is pretty good. But there has, has to be a silent Doom though, because they need to have a core shaker if they yep. want some control. Who knows, man? VP is weird when you when I play against them. I think VP wants to pick Brute, but but they have Darks here. Yeah, they have Darks here. And even Brute is not that good versus Dragonfly, you know. Dragonfly is one of the few safe lane heroes that can deal with Brute. That's true. So you can actually kill a Brute Mother. Won't well, VP gonna the first time you sum up their extra time to think about things here, slow things down a bit in the draft as we get to the final few picks. Yeah. Oh, silencer. Oh yeah, that's another. That's actually pretty good actually. But Illidan is not in the game. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I, I see silent play it. What happened to the other carries they like, like Juggernaut, Anti Mage, any of those for Starks here? Um. Is silent? Does silent play much Anti Mage? Yes. Yes. He does. Okay. Definitely. Silent plays a lot of things. Oh wow. Rubik. Rubik. Wow, so Rubik A. Four ball shaker. They actually oh. done done with uh, EG ratting. They got stuns and catch it. Yeah, they have a lot of control. Rubik shaker. Ban. Skeleton King, anti mage. Ten seconds remaining. Hmm. Would you ban Skeleton King or anti mage? Skeleton King, anti mage, I think out. you ban Skeleton King because Skeleton King has the aura with the SF. Yeah, this Anti mage SF is kind of weird, you know? Time. We did anti mage SF and we lost. Yeah, yeah. like when you pick an like when you pick SF, you should actually revolve your draft around SF yeah. and not uh, anti mage. Exactly. So, like, uh, Rave King rushing Blade Mill here, maxing uh, his uh, lifesteal is something VP did before. Mm -hmm. Then you just, like, literally like run at people and take all the towers. Yeah, and SF can just, like, it, attack ground. Like, yeah. <laughs> You guys also had an AM SF game, which uh, yeah, went bad, very badly for you. I think I think EG is not going to see the Rave King coming. I think they're going to ban Drow. So they're going to look at VP like, yeah, they're going to pick Drow. I don't think they should ban Drow. Drow does, Drow does pretty much nothing. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. seem that great in their lineup. That is true. Drow is just going to get like vacuum swap or whatever. Yeah, that's true. They have to ban the Rave King then, I think. Or are they going to ban it? Ten I mean, do we see another new pick? We've seen all kinds of crazy new picks pop up. Yeah, like Taki's carry. Thank you, Scary. Thank you, Scary. Oh, Juggernaut. They banned Juggernaut. I don't know, VP is gonna ban like a Sumia hero. Maybe Invoker if they're on a big Skyden King. Quap. Queen. Quap. Evil genius. Why would they I guess Quap? if they want to pick Skeleton King, they'll see like the Invoker first so they can yeah. reconsider if they see the Invoker. But they couldn't pick it if that's the Invoker or. Yeah. They can pick it, this they can't pick it into yeah. Invoker, man. If that's the Invoker, they can't pick it. Yeah, Invoker just like wrecks the hero. Oh. Yeah, I think EG's gonna pick Quap's next Invoker here. It's a good versus Shaker because he cannot um, cast Fisher when he's cold snap and earned. It's a good versus AA because you keep killing AA by yourself. Five seconds remaining. This uh, Rubik kind of doesn't really want to steal Invoker spells. Yeah. They need to pick something like a oh, okay. Ember Spirit. Wow. Virtus Pros turn to pick. I bet it's gonna suffer so hard in the lane. It's gonna be mid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It was SF. Yeah. Big. And the SF with Chilling Touch level one. And yeah. Uh, like Rubik roaming around. Mm -hmm. Not gonna be fun for him. No, it's not. He might die a lot. But at the same time, I can see that working though, because imagine like a level four Ember Spirit. I mean, level four. 
fire um, shield ever spirit with a iron shell on him. You just go onto the shaker or AA and Five just remnant on them and just chains. They kind of just die like really I think, fast. I think it's gonna be a silencer or a skeleton king, but I, I, I'm like I think silencer would be much better. Silencer is good with Darkseer and Ember. Uh, it's good against Ember, Darkseer, and Venge and uh, what do you call that? You then. Devil. But silencer is kind of <laughs> weak if em if Ember like remnants on you and you just die. No, I think. Silencer. They, yeah, but they go yeah, but anyway. I'm pretty sure they're like it's a it's like a VP thing. I don't know. They just like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they understand the hero well enough. That's why you're on the couch, Daryl. What? No, I'm Same. not winter. You're not winter. I'm not winter. You're I'm Merlini. You're wi you're up yeah, you're Merlini. <laughs> I well. think this silencer is he's gonna need to get really tanky. Yeah, really, really tanky. Silent goes well with silence. Oh man. Touche. Chat spam fill fish for that one. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Please. Alright, Merlini classic. What do you make of the draws? What are your predictions here as far as I, I agree with these guys. Like silencer he's he's a little bit vulnerable if he gets jumped. Especially with his like super long quote on old. VP versus EG, game number four. All right. Predictions, guys. Do we have a game five? Nah. Nah. I'm gonna start drinking. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, two, you already started based this on uh, some of these uh, antics. Game five from Moon. Yeah, uh, EG's gonna win. Oh, Just any dota belief. That's uh, one way. That's one way to get a game five. It's not yeah. because of any dota belief. All the EG fans out there, bring it on. BTS house is ready. Just, just look at it. Like Silence is weak against heroes that can close distance against you and. It's a Gyrocopter, Darkseer, Ember Spirit with Surge, you know? Like, he's gonna go Atos, right? But he's against the Darkseer. And rem like, the only catch... Yeah. It's hard for Ember Spirit to die until Earthshake, like mid-game until Earthshake gets Blink Tiger. Even then, let's say Earthshake gets Blink Tiger, he Blink Echoes, Chen Chen Totems, Fishers. You still need, like, Silence Alti to finish him off. <laughs> but Peter, Peter getting the U2, good luck, have fun. With the smiley face. Yeah. Dude, it's the classic Lil have fun. Shout out to Lil. Wait, does, does Universe has a sentry? Um, Daxia, Daxia. Daxia? No. Daxia, nope. Oh, no sentry. Okay. They do this board a lot, BP. Yeah, you should just buy a sentry and do what it. Oh, what do you think about that, by the way? The Ironwood branch. Do you like it? I usually buy three mana potions. Why? I like three mana potions. This is a small thing. I know, I. That was getting countered. Poor universe, man. I like mango. You like mango? Yeah. Mango. Mango. They give the full EXP and soul to G. Yep. Got everything. Oh. 30 seconds to battle. That's a one soul. Yep. Swap the ward. One and soul and gold. he'll get the chilling touch. 50 gold, yeah. Faster bottle, everything. 50 experience too. Like, they're gonna lose the game because of the, the, that ward. How do you think this laning phase is gonna go for EG? Or or VP, are they going to be able to pressure the SF, or sorry, pressure the Ember and the Darkseer at the same time? Or do they have to choose one or the other? I think they can choose, they can do both because the begins. it depends whether Rubik has boosted speed or not. He doesn't. No boots. Oh, is he going for a Courier Snipe? This is something we haven't seen much of and may come out of nowhere. Leo's actually the same. Oh, wow, smoke. I heard smoke. I heard smoke yeah. too. Wait, wait, why, why was there a smoke sound? I think Fear Smoke. Did he, was he going for a level 1 smoke towards mid? Yeah, he was, he was, and oh, he smoked smoke. a broken. Oh, so he's going for like that level one first blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess he prevents a potential courier sniping, although the courier was not moving out. They're going for Leo though. Like Peter's. Nah, uh, it's too no, slow. They, they, they aren't gonna reach in fine. Oh. This frees up the dark side of 1v1 with Silencer. This seems like a terrible lane for Silencer. Yeah, it is horrendous. Like, he needed to be boxed out level one. Now he's level two with Dark It's so hard to kill him now. VP always does this though. Yeah. yeah I, I think I'm gonna ask the uh, fly to pick me a uh, Dark Zero or Earthshake when I play against BP. I'm gonna pick a Fury on. Fury? Yeah. I hope he gets buffed next patch. No. I, I don't want Bulldog to be available again. Oh, yeah. I guess <laughs> if, 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 if MP is in the nerf, Bulldog would never win anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. Lone, lone, lone Druid probably getting a buff next patch. That hero, that hero is pretty weak. Yeah. Sorry, Bulldog, if you're at home watching. Yeah, don't be mad. Oh, all right, so for now, Peter helping out the mid lane, just harassing G as much as possible, and it does look like VPS is going to swap their supports and focus on the Darkseer for now and leave uh, the Ember to at least get some good farm early on. He already got his levels, though. Like, he's yep. almost three. He's fine. Yeah, he's good, though. Look at this, though. Oh, man. Oh. They, they're not going to kill him, but they're just going to do a lot of damage to him. Oh. Boom. Okay. 
Just typical BP stuff. But this frees up space for Ember though. Because he sees to be tough. Rune, 10 seconds. Ember is 8 CS off that. Dax is coming in for this one. It looks like EG want to contest. Yeah, that's good. They contest this. Oh wow. Oh, it's a region rune too. It's really big for Dax here. I mean, you look at the both VP supports, they're level 1.5 on both supports. Look at the uh, fear, meanwhile. He's almost level 2. Okay, his pool gets disrupted by Phobos, yeah, no, that's a good Fisher. Yeah, Phobos is actually doing well in the lane. Yeah, that's a really good Fisher by Phobos. Oh, he's, yeah, level 3 already, so... I guess similar to what the Darks is getting, he's getting in his offline. <laughs> and he still has 3, three clarity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Moon, uh, Darks here actually used up all his clarity, so... Yep. But he, he picked up like region clarity. Though. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> he needed more. I think EG got a lot more out of this laning phase than they should have though. Ember's getting a lot more. Yeah. This is Universe making space for his team. Like he's level 2 in Universe, like less than Earthshaker, but it freed up space for the mid lane. Oh wow, they're pushing. Mm. It's not a kill, no. Yeah, G topping the CS charts for now is uh, doing well in this mid lane. Uh, G is always topping the CS charts. Yeah. But this Ember Spirit has what it needs, no? Boots bottle, pretty much. He's happy, he's a he happy Ember Spirit. Oh no, he has oh. boots and a bottle and a stick. He's still happy, you know? He yeah. has boots? No, I think he has a stick. Boots. No boots, like stick away. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he had boots because he spent all his well. How's Peter's stacks going on? Just two at the large? Uh -huh. I told them there, I guess they just got the medium camp stack. Mid lane, they've gone in aggressive. G oh. gonna get targeted and... Play. They're gonna yeah, get first kills. blood with the grave. He wants a second kill. He knows he's going down here. Or is he? Tower oh. gets off him. One more right click. Oh, oh no. Two male. Oh. Overstepping. Mail. It's all good though. Yeah, it's the first blood. Got the first blood, yeah. No, I just lost stacks actually. This is gonna be one fat amber spirit. This is really good for EG. What's Darkshire's levels right now? Level two oh, still. Okay. Two. It's just not two. Feels bad, man. Yeah. I mean, this, this, he's still on the farm on, um, Oh, wow. Yeah, he's really, like, getting boxed up pretty heavily, eh? He's still level 2 on, uh, Rubik, I'm guessing. Do you still want Darkseer against VP after seeing this? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that, because I okay. know that my team's winning. Look at the Silencer's levels and the experience compared to Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter five. 5, Silencer's... Almost 5. Yeah. Alright, not so bad, I guess. It seems initially they give Darkseid a level, but after that they, they then realize, say, like, okay, we want to shut this down. It's just because Fear is like letting Gyrocopter solo and pulling, getting levels, yep. while the Rubik's kind of sap in his carries the EXP, so it's not really super efficient, you know? Yeah. EG's winning out on efficiency wars. It's a level four and a half shaker now, lingering around this mid lane. Perhaps trying to find a counter initiation. They're not able to pull that much on the VS. VS is surprisingly only level, level like, yeah. Yeah. two and a half. Was, like, did a sick fissure and like blocked the pull through. Got a huge lane control off that. Because he didn't let fear pull through. Yeah. So he got level 4 and 9 CS was really well played by 4 boss. Actually like game winning play actually. Yeah, that's a that ward there setting that up too. So. Yeah. Now he's taking the XP of fear. 4 boss playing really well. It's a little play like this that no one ever notices, you know. But this is like mm. way harder than sure. And even now he's leeching experience and sure. getting a ton of XP. <laughs> oh, he got one. He got one. he got the, the creep too. He got yeah, the neutral creep and the real creep though, yeah. like the raging like. creep. So that was really good for sure. Well, now they know Urshake is not at the mid lane. It looks like Sumail oh, gonna wow. get aggressive. FNG getting low. Global silence comes out. Down goes Ember Spirit. Not the trade he was looking for. Did he just go level six? Ah, uh, yeah. on Ember? Uh, no, on Silence though. Most must have. That silence came out of nowhere. Was oh he yeah, dead yeah, with, yeah. without the silence? So it looked like he wasn't going to be. Wasn't he was going to get graved. Yeah, the grave yeah. came out. Oh, okay. Was well played by silence. Yeah. Oh, it's grave level two. Illusion. He's going to kill top on uh, Ember. Oh, Alter is going rotation. top. It's Alter going top. Surge him. And get him. There we go. Gets the searing oh, chains here with the flame guy looking like kill Jarry. Also, it gets a kill of his own. Silence still under the tower. Telekinesis comes in and he's gonna surge him again, I think. Yeah. Get him. Iron shell flame. Flame guy will wear off fairly soon. Jamel not gonna find the catch. Yeah. Oh. If he's a level six there, it was like I think not even one kill. I think two kills. That would have been really good if he got a kill, but 
Yeah, this rotation right there. But Ato got a kill on the uh, Jake Goto at bottom lead. That's, that's huge, actually. That's really big. Now he's gonna buy Aquila and smoke. No, he's not gonna smoke. He's gonna run to the off lane, I think. I'm really sure he's gonna run to the off lane. And kill, kill those silencer and pressure him. Just yeah, give the safe lane to his support or something. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what he always do. That's like. Not the bigger thing, the bigger thing is just pressuring the silencer. You can't give silencer a free game. Because if silencer have a couple of deaths, the hero just like falls off and like does nothing the whole game. Then you're like, why am I ever, why am I in this game? But if the hero gets like complete free farm, he actually becomes a Actually a swung towards the mid lane it looks like, hoping for a Searing Chain's initiation. You talked about Atos being not a good choice for him, do you think he should go something else? Like yeah, I think he I don't know, fine. But SF is a way mech, I think. You know, they did something that they always do, like EG. Like the gyro would have a ward, and you just run into the forest and put a ward. Oh, he's going on G here. This may just be a straight up solo kill. RTZ. Oh, wow. Getting slowed down by the Fisher, but he could still chase with another Rocket Barrage. G still low, turns and raises. Here comes Sumail. Searing Chains. Shadow Wave. He gets a double kill. VP. Right My boy Artur. He did that without a smoke? He did have a smoke. He just yeah, looped just around, no it. smoke. Oh. Observer ward in hand. It's very uncharacteristic of VP. Usually they'd have the top ward, the top rune ward, very VP ish ward. But Fear looking for a kill himself, but won't get it. He fears level 6 as a support already, so. I think he'd actually. No, he can't kill him. I think Artigi is actually gonna kill him. Nah, no, he's not. Really a huge rotation by a copter. RTG is one of the more douche shit safe lane carries. There's a lot of safe lane carries, especially in North American Dota, that actually just does nothing. You just sit in lane and farm. This is one of the weaknesses of uh, North any American Dota. Dota. Yeah. Yeah. But RTG just knows what's up. One of the more active carries. Same with Eternal Envy. I think that's the best way to play hard carry. Even this, he's in lane, but he's applying pressure here. Like, throws a cooldown just to clear a creep wave and force either rotations or take a T1 tower for his team. Pretty much. Even if he dies here, like, it doesn't matter. Alright. Well, takes a tower and he's gonna stay in that bottom lane. Meanwhile, they're looking for the kill on mid. Swap back. EG have four heroes oh, here wow. on a G. Great global silence. G does not quite get oh, the kill. Oh, he got it, he got it. Oh, okay. Gets the last right click, G's still in trouble though. That Fissure kind of blocking off his retreat path and the Grave onto Fear only keeps him alive for so long. What Five a time for a global. Yeah. No, four man rotation. That was pretty worth it. For EG? You think it was worth it for EG? Nah, it was worth it for VP. Yeah. But EG have this, like, you know, two minute window. It seems like they're just trying to brute force through the global silence. Like, take small casualties during a global and then try and just go again. Because they're not really that quote dependent. I think they can just keep sending Ember with Darkseer, Ion Shell, and keep getting kills. This guy's and dead. Yep. No, uh, no, no global side. Yep. Yeah, I think that was actually worth it for EG because if you think yep. about it, the entire time, RTG was farming and they lost uh, Darkseer and Venge, which are not only really that big heroes, you know, to lose. Because Darkseer always catches up and farm. Well, meanwhile, VP lost SF, a hero that needs to snowball. Yep. If they lost the Ember there, I'll be like, yeah, sure, that was worth, worth it for VP. But uh, Huh? Uh, it feels like Silent isn't comfortable with using Silencer. <laughs> Chats fan feel fish. <laughs> he's no, played no, a, no. He played a lot on Empire it's though true, as well. True, but he's, he's not teleporting out like for the backups and queues. He would have gotten a lot of intel if he did that. Yeah. yeah. Even when he was on Empire, he used to play a decent amount. Swap here on the mid lane. They go in on G with a cooldown Rocket Barrage. Ichi's rotations have been on, on point this game. They're just got, not getting enough out of the global. Like they, Their team fight's yeah. so weak without it, it seems. Yeah. They used global there, which is a very good point by Merlini. Then, like when they went to kill the Silence on top, he, he didn't have global to TP out, he just died. I guess they need Shaker to sit behind more people, yeah. but he can't be everywhere. It's can't exactly, be everywhere. like if Shaker's in the right, predicts every movement, like he can maybe keep VP in the game, but that's that's a big ask. He's level six too. I mean, that's just uh, EG punishing VP. Like every like Jarakov off the map, Venge is off the map, and he's just farming mid. He should be in the jungle, you know. Like, I think the right play for VP right now is to smoke into the EG safe lane and just invade it, kill uh, whoever's there and take the tower. Because if they just sit in lane and just like carry on lane, the laning phase as per usual, they're just gonna keep dying. 
Spotting out Arteezy in this bottom lane jungle, but it looks like VP just gonna farm their side of the map for now. They are struggling. Like this AA is still not even level six. He's level five just now. This just with two kills, two one assists. So in this situation, is it a uh, Greaves game from Darkseer, or do you prefer like Blink after the mech? How do you decide which one to get? I think you are Greaves first, right? Yeah, Probably. Greaves first for the global silence. Because of global silence. Yeah, all, all he could get get dagger and just you know wait for the silence to end. But then I think it's better to get Greaves first then, because you can Greaves off the silence instantly, and it's and then uh, you can be next to your teammate Greaves and his back walls and actually save them. That's right. If you wait for the uh, uh, the silence ulti to be over, it's maybe too late already. Oh wow. BPD, Grave TP, not gonna happen. That was Minus really well plus played by EG. Two. Minus two. Minus two. Plus two. Minus two doesn't matter. It's really well played by EG. That's a five minute rotation. Meanwhile, look at EG's heroes. They're yeah. farming bottom, they're farming the jungle, they're farming the off lane. Yep. Shmail's had really a really well. good game on this end, but he's actually on par for farm with an SF right now, so. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, EG, VP knows they can't like just sit and yeah. like just like hey, just continue yeah. laning phase. No, they're finally doing what I said. They're finally just smoking to the enemy jungle because they need to end the laning phase like right now. Oh wow, Jarvis gonna get. He may actually end up taking yeah. this one. That's not ideal. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good for VP if they kill the Jarcopter. Okay. Here. And the bench too, actually. And the bench inside. Yeah, Smoke yeah, yeah. pops. They know someone's in here. Dyer's Who are they gonna get? They're gonna see Arteezy the TP out from fear. It looks like Arteezy. He's, He's dead. Casualty. Yeah. Better than the Venge kill. Doxy does get a tower though, so should be close to mech now. Yeah. Did he buy his HOD before? He, had oh, yeah, he already had it. Okay. Yeah. That's the best situation for VP, honestly. EG30 running, taking mid tower. But here's what I talked about. like How are they going to kill this Ember Spirit with our Global Silence? Well, they've got Global Silence. They could look to initiate off of that, but... Silencer as well as Shaker both seeing near this mid lane. It looks like oh, EG can defend bottom tower. They're gonna do the same thing like how they did the last game. Like G's by himself actually Lil's behind him this time, but that's not enough. If EG converge on them, it's like two free kills. Yeah, Shadow Grave. Stolen Grave. There we go. Yeah. It looks like they learned him, they learned they just backing off on VP because EG's already running bottom. I think VP should actually like uh, get a smoke and do something with global silence now instead of waiting for EG to do something. Like they should take the initiative to actually engage and not, you know, use it defensively. Yeah, yeah, like just engage and then kill someone and then yeah. global silence is, yeah, they need to do that. They don't have any vision though. They need yeah. to get the, what, like fissure into it though? Or like smoke with a lift? It seems yeah. pretty hard to actually get Ember into a global. I don't know, they, they, they don't really need to get, a, get a Ember, Ember, they just need to get like the towers, like play around the towers and go for objectives. Look at this Helm of Dawn creep making so much play. Arteezy always does this too, and he's gonna like drop it on the ground or something before he dies. Do it. Do it's it, drop it on the ground. Disassemble it, disassemble it. Oh. Oh my god, what a misplay actually. <laughs> Game changing. Then if you disassemble it, the creep yeah. just dies and then don't get any gold and any XP for it. I saw him do it a lot of the times, but he didn't do it that yeah. time. Global oh, oh. silence, if uh, looking for Ember. Mr. Slim Shady here up top. Oh, he didn't have Yeah, uh, he's gonna live. This is some Bible thumb sh stuff for VP, honestly. Like, do EG just want to go make a move right now with global cooldown? They have mech and everything. They should. I, I think they will. Oh, a Yule's oh, rush you? from. This is really smart yeah. by Sumel because all he know he needs all he, he knows that VP's only way to like do anything in this game is to kill him, and if he can just like rat and like play like super aggressive. He's never gonna and like VP's moves will be really obvious, so he just pushes all lanes really aggressively, and he gets items to which lets him do that, like eels and threads. If like uh, most of Ember players, I would say ninety percent of Ember players would have bought bots, you know. But he has threads instead of bots because he recognizes that he needs to tank up. So like I just why I think Sumel's one of the better Ember players. G going aggressive. They know there's no global. They're gonna get a swap oh. out. Still kits the ice blast. Fear in trouble here. Gets graved up. We'll keep him alive a bit longer. Requiem comes out. Peter Pandan goes down to SF in the back lines, and EG starting this fight off not too well here, although with Ember as well as Jaro still alive, that may change here. Silent, locked in place for a little time. He's got the oh, Aegis though, and Ember is done for. 
three for three. Arteezy still alive. Very deep. Gets surged up, but the lift will slow him down. And Rocket Barrage Oh, still it dodges up. Ooh, gets the slow oh, Arteezy. Kill him, Is that Surgeon? Meg? Wow. Oh gets another kill. This Atos just secured two kills on Ember and Gyrocopter. He wants the solo kill here. Oh, wow. He jukes from the high ground. Silent will get vacuumed to death, though. Lil? Oh. Uh -oh. oh. That was... That Atos was huge that fight. That was like plus what eight a team fight recap. Uh, Ember Spirit didn't have uh, Iron Shot on him that team fight, which was a huge factor by the way because he was like on top of three, four heroes. If she had Iron Shot on him, I think that would have been a completely different team fight. Oh, that was without Global too. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't crush him there. Yeah, th that was just the Iron Shot effect honestly. If Ember was Iron Shot there, I think all of them DP would have died. Looks like SF is going for S and Y, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I've seen VP do this before. He goes a toast into Mac on Silencer. Yeah, he's buying Mac on Silencer. He already has one of the Mac. Of it. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a, that's a burning dude. Yeah. I was like, why are you yeah, getting yeah, Mac? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why, why are you getting Mac? He's like, it's good. I'm like, okay. It I is hope good. It's good. All he needs to do is like. <laughs> <laughs> tank, tank do you think it's good? <laughs> I don't know. I hope it was good. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it worked out well in the end. So I'm good. <laughs> All right, so Daxi, you guys, uh, I think it was Benny was, well, he's gone for the blink dagger. You did? Yep. Yeah, he went for the blink. got a lot of, this yeah. is a really early blink. That's a pretty early blink. I mean, he, he was the only survivor for EG that last fight. He got a solo kill and everything on silent, so he got a lot of money. I think uh, it's actually, I, I think, oh shit, what's was going on? Did I misclick? That's not, why did he? Well, why did he silence? I, I don't know. It looked like he used that at the same time as his buckler. Like, what's maybe it, what's I think he oh. likes hit the wrong hot key. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Legacy keys. I thought he was trying to sil silent rush on. <laughs> <laughs> they still get Roche, so... I mean, <laughs> you global silence like that and he's like, wait, what's going on? You're not thinking about Roche, perhaps. Nah, he's, he was like silencing the Roshan. Like, you know, you go to land events and you hear like Roshan punching. Yeah. Boom. So does this mean they're just trying to jump the silencer in the fight with the blink? They're just like, yeah. okay, blink, stun, and then... If he gets global off, he's dead anyways. Yeah, no, no, yeah, you're right. I actually think that the universe was right here, and I'm wrong. Me and Isis are wrong. <laughs> he, the blink prince is smart because <laughs> you think left. about it. You jump the dude, and then if he's in a bad position, already, if you blink back wall and then you jump him, like even if you go with silence, like what Ben said, he's dead. It's super good actually. What if he just sits back. really far back though, and just like ha has a shaker to protect him? Because they can't stop the shaker from saving. Uh, are they gonna engage? The he's gonna have silence now. Oh. Now nah, TZ put out in the ice, but yeah. he gets swapped back to safety though. Nice defensive play from Fear. Good play Lord. from with his life, and oh, oh wow. there we go. There's the Ember Spirit in the front lines. Catches out two. Uses himself in the air to dodge the cold feed. The Rec Room wind up on Uartizi. He's graved oh. up though. He's more than healthy. Kills the SF once, and they may just go for him a second time. Lil Sige goes down, and VP are crumbling here. Second life of G, not going to amount to much. It's going to be a fourth kill going EG's way. That was a sick vacuum wall. Yeah. Yep. That's... It's the blink that imagine if they had global silence. That that was a really bad call though by VP. They did have their global silence. Yeah. But I it think was an avenge buyback, but I still think that this came back deal. to the draft. Like if they had rape king. The silencer, I think he did him auto attack once that team fight. He just used the E <laughs> and he had to run, yeah. right? And he just died. <laughs> yeah, he gets jumped on immediately and then yeah. he's like, I can't stand there. Yeah, he just died. Like, and their previous the team fight, like, it wasn't like, it's not like Global Science has been instrumental for them in general. Like, they won the, the last team fight on their tier 2 with just Silence or Atos. So if that's a Wraith King, again, oh, boss. things might be okay. And not only that, the more Silence that dies, the squishier he gets over time. And he's dying before he completes his mech and he's going for the tanky build. So he's going to fall off so fast. I think overall, though, they didn't expect EG to play so up in your face, though. Like, usually Ember Spirit won't play that aggressively against a Silencer until he has his Manta, which is, like, usually they go up, bot, Bots, Battle Fury, Manta, which is like 30 mm -hmm. minutes into the yeah. game. But with the Yules, he can just, they can actually just keep fighting constantly early without him dying. So, Mel, what a player. I don't think there's any player who would have went this build on, build on Ember yeah, Spirit. I don't honestly. think I've seen it before, like, anywhere, even in pub games. But it actually worked out so well. Like, this actually such a game winning build. Like, like Ben said, if that was a bot's battle free um, uh, Ember yeah, Spirit, be, no way can they would get destroyed in team Yeah, fights. I think they're gonna get wrecked, I think. Wow. Once again, EG showing why they won TI Fire, honestly. Sumel with the item builds, Universe with the item builds. Here we are, not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you want a major? <laughs> I mean, but still, this is any Dota Dota, man. The cream of the crop. 
You know, the best of the best, North America. It's going better for you now. I don't think he could have done this build though without the Dark Seer. Like if you just have Flame Guard and uh, Yules, <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Oh wow, the smoke up popped instantly. Oh, oh wow. and they scattered with the weave. Oh, Our TZ could be in trouble though. Oh, Blow, yeah, he's, oh it's he's gonna good. die. Yeah. I think EG takes his fight still. They have a really good flank. Yeah, I think they take it. Oh, Iron Shell. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> with Jumail! Oh, Stolen Wall coming out from a little bit. That's not gonna do too much. And FNG gonna crumble alongside Silent. Oh, here comes FF. G comes he's dead. very That's late to dead. the fight. That's how he's dead. Yep, Remnant forward. He's going to have a combo soon. Searing Chains catches, and G going to wind up the Requiem. Not going to do enough to bring down Sumel. He gets graved up as well, and they want to chase down G here, but they've got to be careful about doing so. G holds his ground, and, and he's that done guy's for. Too in uh, oh, he has Dagger. Okay. Oh, okay, he's fine. Yep. He doesn't know nice blink TP. That was just like, they used everything, everything on RTZ. And RTZ is like baby rage, they use everything on me guys, <laughs> get him. Pretty much they actually used everything on him. <laughs> I know what they did. <laughs> There's a lot of hate for RTZ, eh? Maybe that was his plan all along, that's why he had all this passive aggressive chat, all chat from RTZ to piss them off, <laughs> so they use everything on him. <laughs> and then he wins the summit because of that. Super high level tactics from <laughs> North America actually. Planned it. Starting like during TI. <laughs> like, oh, don't worry guys, we're gonna lose TI, but I'm gonna win summit 4. Like, that's yep. the plan. And Ostraker really needs his dagger. It's, it's not even close to it because he keeps dying in team fights. Yeah. Oh wait, he's oh yeah, really close player. to it. <laughs> 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 Maybe Click, it. Clicks him 2k gold. RTZ kill. I mean, it's still a pretty late dagger yeah. though. God, he has Greaves and Blink. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's so nuts. Alright. Ice, ice, ice. What would you buy on Darkseer right here? Me? Yeah. What would you buy? Shivas, I guess. Shivas? I don't think I would get B. I might get BKB. I would have bought BKB. I might get a BKB. Just because of the silencer. Yeah. I mean, BKB is really stable. Even without a silencer, there's no shaker and, you know, lots of weird mini stuns. Is Pipe not an option? Yeah, pipe is a good option. Too. Pipe is oh, okay. We actually, Lotus Orb is pretty good, if you think about it. Because hmm. you Lotus Orb your teammate and take the silence, the girl, the silence off them. Who would you use it on? Or just use it on like Dazzle maybe? Dazzle or Dazzle Revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. You might do it on an Revenge and then he swaps the guy out and then Revenge <laughs> is Lotus Swap in the middle of a team fight. You don't want to cast spells on Revenge, you know? Yeah, Lotus But then he gets echoed. <laughs> <laughs> but you echoing a Revenge! Uh, it's already like, job well done, you know? You could just Atos him. Silencer's not moving anyways. A lot of people have been talk um a lot of people have forgot and they're all talking shit about Fierce support, but I think he actually like playing super well this tournament. I think I think Fierce's been talking shit man. I yeah, the the community, you know, uh, like, I, 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 I did, you know, like uh like two years ago, three years I was like, Oh okay. fear. Nah. Then he proceeds to like do really well in all kinds of tournaments. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but pop probably told me he was good, but I'm like Yeah. 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 But no, he's good now. And he's, he's transitioned really well into the support role, showing once again his uh, seniority. So PPD Dota was two. right is what you're saying. PPD was right. PPD yeah. was right. Kuroki was left. Kuroki. Uh, digital <laughs> shit trash. <laughs> digital. <laughs> <laughs> if you started off by saying C and then it sounded like you are saying shit. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> Change your mind you know, halfway through there. DC equals digital shit trash. That's, okay. like, that's the meme. C trash. Created by Mason. Okay. I don't even know why all all of any Dota, like not all of any Dota, like the players, the pro players, they all hate on Digital Chaos. Hey, so wait, that's Mobrook. I mean, you see how DC played at this tournament. I, don't they actually I think really they well. pretty much proved the point that they're uh, a legit team. But doesn't matter, the community is always going to flame them. They still that's got okay. last place, though. It was still last place. They did? Yeah, yeah them and Seven, Neski. 7th, 7th, 8th, yeah. Which yeah. Is is that only any teams I hate him or everyone? Not oh, everyone. Like, complexity is cool of them. Just Ritsu, honestly. Ritsu and the Mason. That's why they form a team together. It's like <laughs> they actually like so complement each other so well. Everyone's <laughs> like, oh, the team's not gonna work out. But actually, it's kind of like when girls hate each other. Like, when girls hate the same girl, they get really along really well together, you know? Middle like, you hate that bitch too? Oh, oh I oh. hate her too. Kind of like that. Oh. FNG. Please. Oh, fear? Oh, fear, dude. 
That's uh, a global though. Oh. They're gonna go in with a wall vacuum though. Off oh. the grease, blink, echo, not gonna do yeah. a whole lot here. Narteezy, BKB. Got a BKB up. He doesn't mind. Looking for Silent as well. TP cancel not there. He's wow. actually so quick with the Greaves blink vacuum wall. Yeah. That happened yeah. so quickly. Well, Peter Dagger is on a mega kill streak, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? So, uh, that's, that's a lot of shots for you guys. <laughs> it's like five shots. <laughs> <laughs> Before watching like Game Warrior 2, it's like, oh, what, what kind of bets can we do? Every time Peter gets a kill. <laughs> Uh, All right, this is gonna be a, a rough up. He has seven party. kills. He has seven kills. <laughs> seven kills. You're getting, oh. you're, you're oh. getting drunk, man. <laughs> what you get? Most kills in the game. Peter Dagger. <laughs> That's impressive. One poison touch build, just the shadow wave, I guess. We're really like EG's drop here. They're going all out. They're not hiding anything anymore. This is the last tournament on this patch, by the way. And that's where, like, as much as it's not like the biggest prize pool, teams will be, I guess, yeah, giving it out. everything. Like, like we, we literally said, too, we're going all out. Yeah. We're not hiding anything, and then if we get out, like, let's say I'm, I'm eliminated now, like, I, when I'm casting, I'm just giving it my full insight. I'm not hiding anything. Nice. I'm not hiding my, my ins uh, an anal analysis. I'm not hiding my drafts. Everything's gonna change. Ritsu can right see everything after. he wants. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Got caught out. Oh, He's BKB fine. TP. Yep. He's oh. fine. Is the patch hitting tonight? Tonight, right? The patch? Yeah. I don't know. Have you got? Have you seen a patch? I haven't seen. I'm the not. Patch. I I, I, kn patch? I know nothing. I haven't seen a patch. Oh. You know it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you made it sound like you you saw it. I'm like, I, I want to see it too. If you see it, I, I want to see a Mega Roshan, like Q Roshan three times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it's Mega cool. Roshan. Yeah. Earth Maybe Spirit in CM mode. How do you guys feel about that? What? Earth Spirit in CM mode. Uh, I think that's a rumor. I don't think it's gonna come up. I. No way it's coming I, out. I think it might. No way. With some nerfs, perhaps. With some super nerfs. No, even if nerfs, the hero is still not oh. dead. Oh, he has no BKB. It's good out. They're gonna yeah. look to fight him with the um, with the oh. global. They'll kill him off. <laughs> Arteezy perhaps being yeah. a bit too aggressive there after that BKB gets put on cooldown. I think EG just cut their losses here. No. Yeah, they're going to give up Roche though if they don't yeah. they don't pressure. No, no they're going to fight this. There's no BKB SF, no global side. Oh, he's going to get slopped. Yeah, they're going to oh. fight this. That sucks. That's what? the silencer too. He's got mech, but I don't think that's going to change all too much. The he's still alive now. Oh. Vacuum wall gets SF onto the high ground, but the fissure oh. blocks off EG. It's still good. It's still good. Wow. It's still good. Kill. Silencer for Venge. It was really yeah. smart by Fear. He cast his wave immediately after. Rubik almost stole the swap and swapped the silencer back out. Oh, that's what a player. Yeah, well, what a player. Old man Dota. That was really good. Cat spam rule 5, Pog champ. <laughs> <laughs> Do you actually understand what he's saying, Darrow? Like, <laughs> nope. You don't understand? Yes. I don't. I don't watch Twitch. He doesn't, he doesn't speak. Like, like the only does thing not I know speak is, Twitch. like, what? Ka Hey, you're like me. Cap High five, uh, Daryl. Uh, what forehead? I have, I have no idea what Four, forehead. Four, forehead's just like face palm. I oh, think. okay. No, no, no. Forehead no, is yeah, uh, Kappa yeah. forehead. Uh, what do you call that? Kappa Ross. C J N J. What C J N? No, that's the one with the turban, the head, the terrorist head. Anale. Anale. I don't know. Someone told me like, like when. It's not happening, a terrorist like head, by the way. It's just. <laughs> it's just actually so racist saying that he's a terrorist. By the way, I'm just saying. I <laughs> no, no, no. Some, someone, someone told me that like uh, yesterday. I can't remember who. No, it's just Anale, just like some, you know, all the Twitch emos are off people working at Twitch, right? Twitch yeah. staff. And one of the Twitch staff players is it's a Muslim. A terrorist? No, he's not a terrorist. He's a Muslim. I'm kidding. Oh my lord! I think this problem. is getting like I think we broke like five Twitch of copyright. Like I don't know, like <laughs> terms of service or something. <laughs> You might get, we got my dad banned. No, but it won't be a summit if the stream doesn't get taken down. Last summit we had Bruno and Sunspan in the tub together. Twitch took our stream down. It nice. was like, that's too much, too far. Mm. Alright, we, we gotta focus Dota. There's a there's a Roche happening. Oh yeah. Where, where are they counter smoking? Vortex to scout the pit. How long is the silence cooldown, like global silence? Is it up soon? 120, I think. Oh, it's not. I, I think they're waiting yeah, for 120. It. They get Roche down to half, but then just completely evacuate the pit. Like, that's a really good wall on VP, I think, right at the river, if I'm not wrong. It's... No, like, bottom. Slightly bottom. It's the bottom, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 bottom, bottom. Yeah, I see, that's yeah, a really yeah. good wall here. I actually think that Sumail should go BKB. Should? Oh, look at the VP's heroes. If he has BKB, what did they do? He just kills them all. No? Mm, I don't He's know. not really... 
getting oh. jumped though. I mean, he I mean, can't, like, he can't right click in there. Like, just oh, oh, vacuum wall with the BKBs. G's gonna get his own off, but still not looking good for Virtus Pro. They take out the Darks here and they're looking yeah. to go in the Dazzle as well. Silence still nice and healthy. The Echo just used before he goes down and they've lost four. About to be five. What a jump from Universe and the initial catch from Sumail. Dead. That. Teamwork okay. from EG. I guess we figured out the Blink vs. Greaves question. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> who, needs, who needs Greaves, guys? Wait, what does Universe have now? What's up? Yeah, play him. He's going Lotus Orb? Shivas. Yeah, Shivas. Damn. Shivas. Damn. But Shivas is good, though. Ice was right. Ice was right. No, and I, racist. I was right. I'm not racist. You just said. <laughs> you, did you know what you just said like two minutes ago? He was just repeating what someone else told him. Yeah, someone told me. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Wait, that's, that's a YouTube. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, nice try. <laughs> let's just change the he, subject. He told you. He told you just so you would bring it up, and then he could correct you. And yeah. Okay, let's just change the subject, please. <laughs> Navi is back. There we go. So Navi is back. They two are you guys. Yep, two of us is back. So, so where's Sumil from? So where's Sumil from? Sumil from Pakistan. Oh. Nice place. Nice place. Chicago. Chicago. Um, where, Chicago? where are you from, Daryl? Me? Yeah. Uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. That's Malaysia's a lie right pride. there. I love Malaysia. That's a lie right there, actually. Like some, like uh, my favorite languages from Malaysia, like it's a personal phrase, like putang inamu, that kind of that stuff. That is from Philippines, by the way. No, no, that's Malay. That's Tagalog. Is that what your friend told you no, also? No, no. Yeah. Okay. That's Tagalog. <laughs> and like a uh, bobo, I don't know. I have no idea what bobo means. Bobo means penis in Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does. Yeah. Wow. Why didn't we call it bobo? We were casting boo boo. Boo boo. I have a small boo boo. <laughs> my, my favorite thing is, you know, you know mushi. The, the word mushi means in German vagina. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so. Okay. <laughs> so, like, I have like, there's like some German people I know, and every time like Mushi's playing in a game, they're just like cracking up. Well, not maybe you're cracking up laughing, but they, they, they find some extra entertainment from it. <laughs> like, no, so. no like, like, now I'm trying to imagine Mushi's face as a uh, mushi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, swapping. Oh, swap. oh, oh, you got it. Silence. Oh, global silence defensively used. Greaves was popped, but it doesn't look oh. like they're going to initiate off of this. Mm, oh, this the glimmer. Peter Pandan keeping his buddy alive. This is so big for EG. Now global is down. Yeah. Yeah. They, they committed nothing. Swap. Swap. Oh, they want to fight. Mayo catches it, out two. Do they commit? Call down with a vacuum. Where's the vacuum? He's got it on two. G gets the BKB off, though. And we'll get back oh, to look, safety. TZ, he's got Aegis at least, even though his BKB is now down. Surge will negate jump. the Atos. Get in there, Sumel. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. He's going in. He gets the Remnant <laughs> back defensively. Gets a side of this <laughs> and brings down L FNG. Wait, get in there. Kill, si kill Silent. Ooh. There's no BKB. Yeah, rush him. Yeah, just get in there. It's delay tactics for now. I think he's low. He wants to keep the defensive Remnant back, it seems. Go, go. Another searing chain to get, get in there, man. Why, why isn't he getting in there? Yeah, I don't know. Why isn't he just get in there? I just rush in and kill him. Yep. Man. Nah, they're just playing passive, you know. Probably Peter. Why can't like, we be friends? Just chilling. All right, game five, my friends. Typical EG lose game one, game two, win game three, four, five. Yep. It's the this is the loser bracket. Game one and two is just let's go to the loser bracket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they always do, like every single tournament. Yeah. Yep. There's only been one tournament that was Dream League, like the two seasons ago, they won from the winner bracket. Every other tournament's been from the lower bracket. So, yeah. I missed the OEG where they were through everything. <laughs> yeah, the, the the one of Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> Bambo, <laughs> Beatus. Was mm. I wasn't playing Dota back then. I said, oh, I'm playing EG again. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. You know, Jimmy's in a Peruvian team now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Him and three oh, Peruvians. I heard they got crushed by. Someone. Look, warm up, ma warm up matches. I, I, I forget. I, I just read about them getting anyway, destroyed. I'm pretty sure Fear is getting a Lotus. Lotus? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. yes. I mean, no need to get a Shivers with Daxi getting one. Like, I don't think he's going to get a Thought Curious. At that point, you've got BKB on Gyro, Yules on Ember, uh, uh, Daxir is Greaves. Like, everyone can get out of the Global Silence apart from Dazzle. And Dazzle could be potentially given the uh, Lotus Orb to get it off. And Dazzle's fucking rich. 3,000 gold. This is not Peter. Yeah, I mean, Peter. I mean, like, <laughs> that's not Peter. Yeah, that's not <laughs> Someone hopped on Peter's account, guys. I always playing with Peter. So he's got, more, he's got more. He's got more farm than fear. How does? When does that happen? I don't know, that is a rare sight. Always playing really well. Yeah, always playing really well. <laughs> yeah. It's a digital conspiracy for sure. DC goes digital conspiracy. Oh. 
Smoke. This is starting to look grim for VP. They've got to win the next fight. Here we go. Uh -oh. They found Phobos. Oh, okay. He's dead. Yep. He's dead. Smell finds himself another kill, and now the pressure going to go towards his top lane. How do they counter the vacuum wall that they've been owned by in the last like four fights? You have a Rave King. Yeah. <laughs> to sit in the front lines of a radius. This was a fourth pick Darks here as well. They, they got this very late in the si draft. Silence are working on BKB. What is he trying Hex. to do? Hex? Hex. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, Ra Rave King would have owned this game, right? Yeah, Rave King would be good. Yeah. I, I was like, Silence was not the pick. But you called it because <laughs> he was VP. And I like said, VP. I was like, yeah, they're probably going to pick Silence, but Rave King was definitely a better pick. Wait, how did the Rubik die? I don't know. Sumail things. Sumail things. No, Sumail is actually really similar to Miracle. I mean, no, I should say the other way around. Miracle is really similar to Sumail in the way they play. They and how, like just, yeah. how, how, how would you describe that? Hyper aggressive, easily punished. <laughs> Hyper aggressive, easily punished. Yeah, Hyper aggressive, easily punished. Well, the Hex is up, but they've lost two lanes now, and it's really... It's time for a Hail Mary, and he Lotus off on Dazzle. Okay. Yep, there's two Lotus. Bench, Everyone removes Global complete. Silence, guys. Okay, Bench hasn't useless. completed, but has the money for it. Yeah. All right. Five heroes who can all get out of global. That's. Dude, if Peter has Lotus, you know the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He's probably not even going to use it himself. This guy's yeah, too he, selfless. He should have got that a BKB for the thick, like fun of it. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. Oh, oh so there we go. Oh. He Global Silence, everyone's BKBing. Lotus Orb. Oh, himself. Lotus Orb Peter. He's been thrown up here. Fear oh. going down. It looks like it's going to start the fight off, but G now with no BKB is in all sorts of trouble. There's going to be a swap back. Oh, Sumail's going to die. Oh, G's still on the front lines. He's dead too. Okay, so it's a two for two without Sumail, though. EG have not had the best team fight. Uh, but Arteezy got oh. this. Glimmered up. Getting chain stunned a bit by Phobos, but there we go. Those missiles. My boy Artur. Is that a max poison touch? Yep. Yep. Baby yeah. Rage is in, guys. He's here to clean up the Russians. Rampage. Bye-bye. Okay, it could be two more Rampages. Yep, get in yep. there, RTZ. <laughs> get in there! <laughs> Surgeon, get in Peter's there! Peter's like, no, 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 no. We're, we're getting the racks, boys. We're getting the racks. No, get in there. Uh, he like doesn't he see to, anyone. He wants to go. FNG hiding in the trees. Here we go. Blink in full with the nice blast. They won R2. I don't think they're getting him. Surgeon. Give him another. Uh, I think it's too late. It's, it's yeah, too, too, too late. Yeah. Paul Peter and Universe of I didn't get. He didn't get. Oh, that was kill three anyway. Gs, guys, yeah. by FNG. They're G trying to G save him from his eagle. And Peter gets another what? kill. What? Artizi? No GG, and he just leaves the game. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. This is the I drama. Mean, this is every, no every game though. Respect given to VP. Yeah, the drama. It's because they didn't respect him. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Why? They, they, the global. They ult like four men ulted him that oh. one fight. <laughs> so oh, him. look at him! Look at him! Look at Charlie. They don't look happy. Look, they don't look happy. They're like, how the hell did VP beat us twice? Hey, Saitama, One Punch Man. <laughs> Saitama, One Punch Man. Who? No, this guy. This guy? Yeah. I like, hi. He's Phil? That's Phil. Yeah, that's Phil, right? But he's white. <laughs> Saitama. Oh, so Asian. what's wrong with being white? <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being white. I'm just saying One Punch Man is Asian. Saitama is Japanese. I don't know if I feel comfortable seeing between you two. Yeah, we're just two offlaners. It all. hurts. Yeah. <laughs> two offlaners just you want to uh, talk about life. Mm -hmm. so, so, do you guys feel it's mostly drafting problems here? Like the silencer pick you guys talked about a bit. Were there other areas like that VP need to kind of look at as far as the overall strategy and draft go? Um, yeah, silencer, and they didn't have a hero which could save SF. Usually, when you pick SF, you want like a dine or you want a Wyvern or a Dazzle. That's why Peter knows that he can give them SF. So a lot of people out there saying, why don't they just ban SF? Well, he just beat uh, BP's SF twice in a row, actually, proving all the haters wrong. No, it's easy to put pinpoint the draft, but I feel like yep. uh, when EG jumps someone, the person is dead. Because mm. the only kind of play is Global Silence, but the moment they started getting the Greaves and the BKBs and the Lotus Orbs, uh, there's no counter play to the EG jump. The, like, if you could start a team fight off 4v5, it's never good. Plus, you expend an ulti on your hard carry. Like, how you how do you expect to win any team fight at that point? I think the early game was just a little poor. 
I, I like what you said about they didn't smoke into the enemy's jungle early enough. Like, Sumail had, like, Treads, Bottle, Yules way too early for, I think, the lane setup that they had, too. And they also gave the Dark Seer way too much farm. Yeah. I mean, like, you guys talked about a bit where they they focused almost too much. Like, they shut down the Dark Seer very early on, but it gave the Ember, like, the easier lane. Well, they gave him a free two. Yeah. Right? That's the dream as Dark Seer. It's yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take Surge and Ion Shell. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Daryl? Game are you, five. Are you, are you like expecting me to say anything? No. No. Yeah, no. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Starbucks? Starbucks? Uh, Starbucks. Chai, chai tea latte. Chai tea latte. <laughs> I love chai tea latte. But yeah, SF is better. It, SF is like a hero that's much better on the Radiant compared to the Dire because mm. for Radiant, you can really put your own camps and clear it safely. But for Dire, a Gyro can just run in and like fuck you up. Bust you up. Well, that first rotation from Arteezy was. Yeah, it's like pretty, like those kind of rotations, it's, it's really hard to do those kind of rotations if you're on Radiant. Yeah. Because you're going to run and you're going to die. It's also hard to do that kind of rotation if you're a silencer. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't really <laughs> smoke an enemy jungle and like gank. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even smoke, he just like walked <laughs> around, <laughs> drops a ward himself. Oh, he's yeah. an SF. I can just... He goes in 1v2 against an SF Earthshaker yeah. and gets a kill. Exactly. Like, <laughs> only Gyro can do that. There's no other hero that could do that. No. Jarecopter's good, that's why. Yeah, I think Skeleton King would have been really good. Rift King, yeah. right? Yeah, it would have been harder for uh, EG to invade okay. VP's woods if there's like a Skeleton King there, you know? Let's say the Skeleton King sacks the lane, goes to the jungle, which he can, if you're calling blade and level lifesteal, and Asian Apparition takes the lane, get levels, and then you gank the Rift King in the woods, but he is ulti, so you kill him, and now you can't run away, you die. Yeah. Plus, Rake King is one of the better counters against Jaro, right? Yeah, with Rake King, you just rush in and rush the face, and mm -hmm. like, uh, I mean, um, with Asian Apparition and Rubik, they're gonna have a lot of time to do whatever they want. Yeah. And Oshika could just take his time and jump at a perfect opportunity. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. A lot of space and team fights, basically. Alright, guys, we got a game five coming up. The